Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. I'm back, guys. You know I'm back. And you know what I got for you? I got more facts for you guys, man. Because so all we have on this channel is facts. Right? I know I get a little crazy. I'm yelling loud and stuff. But I told you guys, it's all facts. I'm not out here cursing and tearing down other players to make my, you know, my facts known. Or to let my, my feelings know are known about the night, how people talk about the 90s era NBA and Michael Jordan specifically, the lies about Michael Jordan's career, we're going to stop him. And on my channel, you guys know that's what I'm here to do. So shout out to all you guys, man, for showing me the respect and showing me all the love because you guys understand. You guys get it. I've said it to you guys before. Real recognize real. You couldn't tell me I was speaking facts if you didn't know what the facts were for yourself. So much respect to all you guys out there, man. Much respect to the Philippines. Much respect to the United Kingdom. Much respect to Canada, man. I see you guys watching my videos, man. Much respect. Thank you, guys. Shout out to everybody out there. And in this video, we're going to continue to celebrate Michael Jordan. And we're going to talk about how Michael Jordan never went backwards. He never went backwards. He just continued to grind and grind and grind and to rise and rise and rise. Right? Never went backwards, Michael Jordan. man. We're going to talk about that. What do I mean by that? Once again, I want you guys to hit that play button, turn the volume all the way up, listen to the information. I have to tell you guys, this is all facts here, guys. It's all facts. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, Michael Jordan never went backwards. What, am I, what do I mean by Michael Jordan never went backwards? He was always going forward. Michael Jordan's basketball career, if you look at it from the beginning to the end, right? Listen, we're focusing on my Chicago Bulls, Michael Jordan here. We're not talking about the Wizards, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan's basketball career with the Chicago Bulls from the beginning to the end was one big progression. That's what it was, guys. It was one big progression. It was one big buildup to the three-peats. And what am I talking about? What are you talking about, Robin, when you're saying that? Well, quite simply, if we look at Michael Jordan's career and we look at the trajectory of his career, like I said, from the year he came in, to the year that he left in 1998. So we go from 1985 to 1998, right? Michael Jordan coming into the NBA as a rookie, right? Going to the playoffs as a rookie. I've told you guys, Michael Jordan led the team in all major statistics as a rookie, playing with a bunch of clowns. And he led the Bulls to the playoffs, right? Now, when we think about Michael Jordan leading the Bulls to the playoffs, and we hear people criticize Michael Jordan, Oftentimes, what do they say? They'll say a lot of the one and nine without Pippen. They'll say that Michael Jordan wasn't a winner when he came into the NBA. They'll say things like Michael Jordan had to learn to win. I've told you, I debated someone uh, one time and they told me that Michael Jordan had to learn to win. And they, they said that as a negative. They actually tried to use it as a negative and I flipped it around and used it as a positive. Learning to win is not a negative, especially when it comes to sports. When we think about Michael Jordan's first three, four years in the league, guys, right? 85, bounced out in the first round. 86, bounced out in the first round. 87, bounced out in the first round. Michael Jordan literally carrying the Chicago Bulls with role players to the playoffs as a seventh or eighth seed, getting bounced by the number one or the number two seed. And in the case of 86, 87, you're getting beat by one of the greatest teams of all time, the legendary 86 Boston Celtics. Somehow this is being used as a negative to Michael Jordan's career that he had to learn to win. And like I told you guys, to me, it's not a negative. It enhances Michael Jordan's career. Because like I've told you guys in past videos, if you look at Michael Jordan versus contemporaries, guys that he came up playing with, guys that are considered on his level, guys like a Larry Bird, guys like a Magic Johnson, guys like a Charles Barkley, guys like a Carl Malone. If you look at some of these contemporaries, Michael Jordan had less to work with than any of those other players. So when people try to say things about Michael Jordan not winning his first three years in the league or that he had to learn to win, yes, he had to learn to win. He had to earn it. He had to come in there with the role players. He didn't have any Hall of Famers or all-stars on his team or veterans like that to lean on to, to help him out as a rookie. Whereas these other guys, and I've done videos on this, guys, when these guys came in as rookies, guys like Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Karl Malone, Charles Barkley, Hakeem Olajuwans, 
these guys had players on their teams to lean on. Where they were all those all-stars or they were Hall of Famers. They had actual solid teammates. Whereas Michael Jordan had none of that. So Michael Jordan had to come in. He had to develop players like Scottie Pippen, like a Horace Grant, like a BJ Armstrong. He had developed these guys while taking the beatings of going through the regular season, while taking the beatings of going through the playoffs. He had to be the leader and learn to win, right, guys? He had to learn to win. But during Michael Jordan's routine, uh, career, he never went backwards, right? Think about Michael Jordan's career, guys. Like I said, first three years, first round exits, right? Then what happened in 88? He started to get some help. He started to get some guys like Scotty, a young Scotty Pippen, a young Horace Grant. They traded, uh, I mean, they, they got a uh, John Paxson. You had a BJ Armstrong. These guys started to come in 88, 89, right? You traded for a Bill Cartwright. They picked up guys like uh, Craig Hodges, veteran role players. So what happens in 1988, guys? The Chicago Bulls win a playoff series, right? They win the first round against the Cleveland Cavaliers in 1988, and then they lost to the Pistons in the second round. That's a progression, right, guys? So 85, 86, 87, all first round exits, right? See, going backwards would have meant that Michael Jordan missed the playoffs one of those seasons, right? We all know he broke his foot in second season, came back, and was able to lead the Bulls on a minutes restriction to the playoffs. So going backwards, when I'm talking about Michael Jordan never went backwards, he made the playoffs every single year of his career, right? His rookie season, his second and third year. He never went backwards. He didn't make it his rookie year, and then the second year they missed the playoffs. Or he made the playoffs the first two years, and then the third year they missed the playoffs. He never missed the playoffs. So he never went backwards those first three years, right? And then what? By his fourth season, now they're in the second round, right? In 1988, they lost to the Detroit Pistons in the second round. The same Detroit Pistons team that would go to the NBA Finals. And then what happens a year after that, guys? The Chicago Bulls would get bumped out in what? 1989, they would make it to the Eastern Conference Finals, right? They would beat the Cleveland Cavaliers with the shot, the iconic shot in the first round, 1989. Then they would go on to beat the number two seed in New York Knicks in the second round to make their first Eastern Conference Finals with Michael Jordan. So, right, 88, second round, 89, they're in the Conference Finals, right? They didn't go backwards or they didn't stay the same. They improved. Then what happens in 1990? Same thing. The Bulls made the playoffs again. They make it back to the Eastern Conference Finals. See, they didn't go backwards, guys. They didn't get knocked out in the first round in 1980, uh, 1990 or get bounced out in the second round in 1990. They continued to make the progression, right? 1988, second round. 1989, Eastern Conference Finals. 1990, Eastern Conference Finals. And then what happens in 1991, right? The Bulls, make a, the Bulls would go on and make the NBA Finals, Right? So, from that point on, we all know what happened. From 1991 on, Michael Jordan would never lose the championship ever again. Don't talk to me about the 1995 Eastern Conference semifinals. See, Shaquille O'Neal likes to talk about how he was the last person to beat Michael Jordan in the playoffs. I hear him exaggerate and brag about that constantly. He's a feather in his cap to talk about him beating Michael Jordan the Bulls. He was the last person to beat the Bulls. That was not Michael Jordan you beat, Shaq. Much respect to Shaq. I love Shaq, man. Great personality and stuff, man. But you did not beat Michael Jordan like Nick Anderson said. That was not really Michael Jordan out there. We all know he came back. And I'm not making excuses for Michael Jordan. However, the man came back. If Michael Jordan would have came back and played like 50 games, I would have given that like more. Okay, you know what? Yeah, you guys beat the Bulls. You beat Michael Jordan. But he came back for like 17 games, man. It's not the same as playing baseball or whatever. So I don't count that 95 loss as a loss or going backwards per se, but even if you want to say that Michael Jordan came from back from, from playing baseball, so they really weren't going backwards, right? They made the second round his first year back, which is the same place that they went to the year before, right? So they didn't go backwards and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? They didn't miss the playoffs or get bounced out in the first round. But if we think about Michael Jordan's career, he never went backwards. Once he won the championship in 1991, that was it. He essentially won six straight championships, guys. I know technically he did not win six in a row, but he essentially won six straight championships, six full seasons, six championships, guys. The, the progression, never going backwards. Whereas if you look at other players in NBA history, there's been many times that a player has made the playoffs one year and then maybe missed the playoffs, right? 
They missed the playoffs during their primes. Many superstar and all-time greats have missed the playoffs in their primes after making the playoffs. That's going backwards. There have been many players in NBA history that have made the conference finals, and then the next year they didn't make the conference finals. It's going backwards. There have been many players in NBA history that have made the second round one year and then got, didn't make the playoffs the next year or got bounced on the first round the next year. There have been players and teams that have won the championship one season and then the next year they did not even make the playoffs or they were bounced on the first round or the second round. They didn't make it back to the finals. That's going backwards, guys. Many, many players in NBA history have gone backwards in their careers when it comes to the postseason. Like I said, whether they made the playoffs for their first three years or they made the playoffs one year, but they didn't make it the next year or they didn't make the playoffs their first couple years in the league and then they made the playoffs, then they made it to the finals, but then they didn't make it to the finals the next year, right? That's going, going backwards when we think about, you know, Michael Jordan's career. To me, he's one of the only players in NBA history that I can think of off the top of my head that had a continuous progression. First round, second round, conference finals, finals. That was it. Michael Jordan never went to the, the conference finals and then, the, and then went back to the semifinals or got bounced on the first round or didn't make the playoffs. It never happened during his career. Because what does that illustrate? What does that highlight? What that highlights and should show you and prove to you guys is that once Michael Jordan had a little bit of help, a little bit of help, he was unbeatable. He was unbeatable. That's what that proves, guys. One all-star teammate is all Michael Jordan needed to go 6-0 in the finals to win Six straight championships, essentially. Six full seasons, six championships for Michael Jordan. Never going backwards. Never getting bounced out in the Eastern Conference Finals. Never getting bounced out in the second round. Never missing the playoffs. The progression was always there. Just continue to climb the mountain. That's what Michael Jordan did. He led the Bulls from humble beginnings to dynasty. Never stopping in between. Never going backwards or resetting. Just kept going forward. Even in 1990, when they brought in Phil Jackson and they, and they fired Doug Collins, they didn't take a step back. They were able to stay at the, at the Eastern Conference final level. You would think that maybe that would have made them drop off a little bit. They got a new head coach, a new system, all those things. They were able to maintain that level. Thanks to Michael Jordan's greatness. Michael Jordan has done more with less in NBA history. I'm going to do a video on that, guys. It's just clear as day. And Michael Jordan never went backwards. He just c continued to progress in his career with the Chicago Bulls, continued to push these guys higher and higher. They never went backwards. They didn't make the finals and then the next year not make the finals. They didn't meet the Eastern Conference Finals and then the next year get bounced out in the first round or the second round. They didn't make the playoffs for two years in a row and then not make it the third year. Michael Jordan was always going up. Always. Because he was a winner, man. Crazy, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.